Hi, my name is Esther. I am from the blog VictorianLaneFarms.com. Today I am going to share with you some antique and thrift store finds that I found recently, so stay tuned. Before I get started, I'm grabbing myself a cup of coffee. If you would like, you can grab yourself a cup of coffee and relax and enjoy this collection. First of all, I'm going to show you this little teacup and saucer. It's a new set that I found and I will show you the rest of that in a little bit. But this teapot, I saw this online and someone found it at Marshall's for $12.99. I have seen these on eBay for $50. So that was a deal. So here is the collection. It is blue rose. It is so pretty. I found this on eBay for 50% off during that Black Friday in July sale. eBay actually has sellers that will sell things for 50% off and free shipping. So I had some good luck. Like this set here, this is a Victorian lady set. So pretty, don't you guys think? My plan is to share some videos how to put on a tea party. And I'm really excited to share that with you. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And then I found this platter at an antique pavilion. Keep watching all the way to the end. I will show you this amazing store. I got this for $18. With the summer being so hot, this just seemed like a great find. I found these water goblets for $1.99. And then I found another set here for $1.99 each. And then I found this pitcher and it is so thick. Perfect for iced tea, lemonade, water, yes. It was so appealing for the summer months. And then here, you cannot believe what I found. I found this amazing sewing machine drawer set. I found it on Etsy um, from a guy named Bob. And he refinishes these and adds the top to it. And I love it. And check out the sides. This guy did a really good job making these look so beautiful. It's very intricate. I love it. What do you guys think? This is a Victorian era 1800s Middleport Burgess Lay non parallel flow blue pottery teapot. I think, I hope I didn't butcher that. Isn't it beautiful with a gold trim? I love it. I have been eyeing this for a long time. It is very expensive, but I think this one was on sale because it has some hairline cracks on the bottom. I will never be able to use it to make some tea, but I just thought it was so beautiful. I look forward to decorating with it in my home. I love it so much. What do you guys think? Next is this really pretty crystal candy bowl. I bought this for five dollars. I just love the details. It has a marble bottom. It's so pretty to add to the side tables in my living room. And here is a gravy bowl that I'm actually using for my jewelry on my nightstand. The moment I saw it at Goodwill for $3.99, I was like, yes, this is perfect for my makeover. This is Hasburg, China from Austria. I think that's pretty cool. But here it is on my nightstand next to my bed. 
And here's a quick view of my makeover. I actually will link down below the summer tour that I share with you on my, one of my YouTube videos. I love the way this turned out. This is the bouquet of flowers for my bedroom. Aren't they beautiful? I wanted to show you this green bottle. I found this at Goodwill for $5.99. It was so sweet when I found this because I was looking for some matching vases for my makeover of my bedroom and then I found this that same day with the similar green glass. This vase was $5.99. I love how well they look together. And I found this clock. I just love the little details here. For, I found it for $5.99 at a thrift store. And then this was also another find. It has a Victorian look to it. I just love the metal on here. I got it for $3. Is that a deal or what? these crystals like my chandelier so pretty now I am going to take you to show you a secret spot in this antique store it is an antique pavilion in Edmonds Washington um, you go up these stairs and then there's these aisles of antiques it is huge but if you go in the back there is this basement and down below you will see all of this furniture and this is only a third of what is in this basement. It is crazy. And there I found this coffee table. It is so pretty. And then I brought it home and it fits perfectly where I wanted it. I actually have plans to redo this um, fireside room but look at the details in the wood the store clerk noticed the water damage on there but I didn't care it was really good price and I love it well I hope you enjoyed this collection of antiques and thrift store finds for this last month that was a lot of fun putting that together for you if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe so subscribe down below. Have a great week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.